Princess Celestia finished the spell that would finally cleanse the human world of its of its last inhabitants, deep within the forbidden, deep within the forbidden Canterlot vault, the statue of a certain Draconicus vanished. Celestia rested on her throne, exhaustion written on her face. Her actions over the days left her tired and weak. Even an immortal god princess needed to rest, and so the court had been suspended until she had, could recuperate. The only soul present in the throne room were she and the two royal guards. By the door, the guards disappeared without so much as a sound. Celestia blinked. Did she just imagine that? No. There were always guards present. Something was wrong. She sat up and cautiously approached the door. As she walked, the room's windows shifted into the shape of the Draconicus. They did not go unnoticed by her, and she whirled around and gazed at the window. windows closest to her. Discord grinned back. What? Oh no! Hello to you too, Celestia, said the windows. Discord, why are you here? How are you here? So much for a friendly greeting. The glassless eyes rolled in the non-existent sockets. I tire of your games. Show yourself. All right, all right. But only because you asked so nicely. The window trick was getting old anyway. And you know how much I hate repetition. With that, the window morphed into the limbs and torsos and assembled the Draconicus, sitting on Celestia's throne. Celestia tried to calm herself. She really wasn't in the mood for this. But attacking another god would be futile. Even with at full power and with the help of her sister, she couldn't hope to defeat the spirit of chaos. She needed the elements of harmony and an aspirin. The humans were good for something, after all. Discord continued. Can't I visit an old friend before performing my charge? Oh, and you look absolutely dreadful. What have you been up to, my dear? That is none of your concern. The elements of harmony will... Elements, Celestia. Elements, elements, elements. Oh, yes. The elements of harmony. I remember the <laughs> elements of harmony. The elements of harmony that have recently become useless, maybe. He had her there. What? I can assure you... Ugh, save it. The elements have shattered, haven't they? Discord's grin confirmed that this question was rhetorical. How do you know that? Oh, if you've lived as long as I have, you tend to pick up on those tiny, minuscule, world-shattering events. Speaking of events, I love what you have done to your ponies. I never thought you had it in you, Celestia. What do you mean? Maybe you did learn something from me after all. The way you molded and twisted and perverted their feeble minds. Like chocolate cotton candy clouds. Brilliant. Celestia's eyes widened. I have given the new foals new lives and opportunities. They are of no concern to you, wretched creature. But they are. I find them quite interesting, really. Twisted and malleable. But that is beside the point. What fascinates me are these delectable mind whammies. I couldn't have done it any better myself. She glared at him. How could he compare his mind corruption trick to her gifts? Oh, don't give me that look, see. Did you think I wouldn't notice? I can quite honestly say that I'm proud of you, Princess Celestia. Substituting spirit of chaos and disharmony. You are pathetic, Discord. We are nothing alike. How rude. Mm. From God to God, we are no different after all. What did you think set me free once again? Here's a hint for you. It involves entropy. 
Lots and lots of it. What matters is that we... Wait. Are you saying that... How? No, we had not converted them. We were acting in the name of Harmony for the good of all pony kind and theirs. How could her actions possibly have freed the Draconicus? Oh ho ho! How wonderfully ironic. That must be why the elements have stopped working, isn't it, Harmony? Ha! Huh. But do not fret. You did your the best possible thing. You only wanted to help them overcome their chaotic nature. Instead, you buttered their entire world in entropic goodness. Or should I call it Equestria now? You did claim it all for yourself, after all. That's ridiculous, coming from the spirit of disharmony. There is only one being who could, would so selfishly drown ponies in chaos, and he is standing before me. I would never do such a thing. But my dear, you've already have. The seeds of chaos are planted and ripe for the harvest. I barely even have to lift a claw in your precious equestria will float in discord, the likes of which even I have never seen. What? What are you planning, Discord? Let it rain chocolate milk? Have deformed animals stampede through the cities? Flip everything upside down? I can assure you th these ponies have been through much worse. You won't impress them. Oh uh, no. I already did that last time. Remember? And I have already told you. I won't even li have to lift a claw. Chaos will find a way. And I can sit back and enjoy the show. In fact, I am already finished. The princess winced. Something about this situation was completely, utterly wrong. She was never able to sense Discord's magic, but he wasn't one to announce that he was finished. Discord was never finished, always trying to one-up his latest spells. He would eventually throw thematic fabrics into a disarray that no mere magic could possibly hope to restore the pony's way of life. Celestia had to know what he was up to. You are finished, Discord? What are you... What have you done? Not what I have done, Celestia. The question is... What have I undone? I'm sure you can figure it out. If Celestia's coat hadn't been white already, the color would have been drained. No, no. You mustn't undo the mind wrap. Do you have any idea what you have brought upon this world? Your selfish abomination? I will destroy everything. Will they now? All I have to do is give them their personality and identity. I just revived the people you brought thought you had rid yourself of, Celestia. But they will have they have been living peacefully until now. Why would they Oh, of course. How could I have been so blind? If I had been a prisoner inside something that wasn't me, what would be the first item on my agenda? Hmm... No... Speaking from experience, of course. Celestia slumped to her hunches as Discord's unnatural grin spread further. He began laughing manically and shouting at her. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing, pony. I am the spirit of Equestria. Nay, I am Equestria. You have destroyed an entire world and inadvertently fed me more power, power than you could have ever begun to comprehend. You have done the unthinkable and stooped so low that even the elements of harmony crash shattered. Though no pony was present outside, Thunderclaps assented 
discord sentence. You were obsessed with your own species that you didn't even re realize how many lives you have ended. Only you didn't end them properly because they are back and they are angry and they're coming for you. Celestia shouted back at him. No! I did the right thing. It was meant to be. You will not ruin everything we've worked for. My sister and I will defeat you. We will find a way. And how do you intend to do that? I am more powerful than ever before. I have escaped your stone prison twice. The elements are useless. What are you gonna do, Celestia? Kill them? Kill billions of your in your little ponies? Could you do that? There was nothing... That was too much. She couldn't. Not to her ponies. Celestia broke down. You thought they were beyond redemption. But look at you now. <laughs> the immortal god princess. The judge, jury, and executioner. Reduced to a sobbing pile of fur. You have no idea how much I am enjoying this chaotic turn of event. It is a new era, Celestia. Cheer up. And do you want to know the best thing about it? Discord cupped her head with his claws and looked into her eyes. I have... A front row seat. 